Uh, congratulations to HBU. They did the things they uh, needed to do to win the basketball game. They got on the offensive boards and they got points in the paint. Um, HBU is a tremendously athletic, well-coached team. And when they get offensive rebounds and points in the paint, they are uh, a handful. And uh, they were able to get what they wanted and we couldn't stop them. And uh, you know, hats off to our kids because I thought that was uh, uh, we played tremendously hard. Uh, you go back and look at the number of times there were players diving on the floor. Both teams were all over that floor. It was a max effort for for all ten players. Uh, they were going as hard as they could go. And I thought our execution down the stretch um, in the last two minutes, you know, we made our we made some opportunities. We just didn't execute them and finish them. But I'm very proud of the effort that our team gave. And uh, from where we started in July to have come through all the mountains and valleys that we went through to be where we are, um, you know, I'm proud of, of what we accomplished. And, you know, we uh, um, you know, just a little short today. Well, I think it's a confidence level. I thought their confidence today was uh, off the chart compared to what it was at our place. Um, I think that they uh, came here. Uh, they have a great crowd. Uh, you know, they're, it's a home court uh, situation for their, their fans. And um, I thought they played tremendous defense. And we, we couldn't score, you know. I mean, and when we can't score, it's really been hard for us with uh, our, our uh, sophomores and, and juniors to keep focused and keep defending. I thought we did a pretty good job of keeping the defensive level where it needed to be, but we just needed a basket or two here and there. And I don't think you can point to any one of our players and say, wow, that girl played great today. And, uh, you know, somebody has to step up in March, whether it's a bench person or somebody that's on the court and have, uh, you know, their, their, uh, get their numbers, you know, get their normal night. And we didn't have that today from, from top to bottom. But uh, and we almost won it with our defense and almost won it with our execution in the last two minutes. But we just couldn't almost is a big word right there. Well, you know, we shoot that shot a lot, you know, and uh, uh, you you hope that uh, every time you shoot it in practice that everybody really focuses and um, it, it's a, like a free throw, you know. You don't uh, – uh, you practice those free throws with nobody in the gym. So when you get into the game with 2,000 people there and the, the game on the line, you know, you're, you're ready to, to make that shot and she's practiced it and she'll make the next one. And, uh, you know, we, we – that – there were a lot of other opportunities before that one rolled around. Um, but great execution to get the steal, great execution to get rebounds down the stretch. We played the defense we had to play. And, uh, you know, we got an opportunity. And uh, you get an opportunity and you make it happen or you start talking about July. And unfortunately for us, we're going to talk about what we're going to do in July. Well, you know, they're playing really well right now. They, they had a big win over Nice. So they're playing off of, you know, pure adrenaline and, just got to get that next game. And we were coming in with uh, trying to get Coach Tyler's 600th win and obviously advance. And today you saw March basketball. That's what it's all about. It came down to the end. And like Coach said, we had our opportunities. We just didn't capitalize. Well, this hurts, obviously. You know, that this game was supposed to be ours. And I feel like we kind of got it stolen from us. Um, but hats off to them. They played their, they played their hearts out. And I thought we did too. It's just, you know, they scored one more point than us. So it's definitely tough. <laughs> well, it's all of that. That's why you call it madness. It, uh, uh, in, the, in the locker room, uh, you're disappointed. You're, you know you won't get to coach Olivia Fowdy anymore. You know that every one of those players left everything out there on the court trying to win the basketball game. Um, it's tough. 